annual Japan Mobility Show took place in Japan, where engineers from all over the country showcased the most innovative developments in technology and robotics. The exhibition mainly featured smart machines, but there was also room for peculiar inventions. For instance, the Japanese displayed a bus with legs that resemble something out of Star Wars. Not much is known about this project yet, although it seems unlikely that we'll see it on the roads. But this is Japan, and here, almost anything is possible. Another marvel at the exhibition was the piloted 4.5 meter tall transforming robot called Arcax, priced at $3 million. It is made of iron pipes, aluminum alloy, and steel plates with plastic elements added to make the robot's design more impressive. In this machine, the pilot can control all of the robot's limbs and travel at speeds of up to 10 kilometers per hour. The robot weighs 3.5 tons and runs on electricity, although its autonomy is not disclosed. A major Japanese motorcycle manufacturer, Yamaha, presented the smart motorcycle Motoroid 2, which can dance. Almost every part of the bike is movable, including the handlebars and even the engine. Yamaha has not revealed many details about the Motoroid 2 yet, but it is known that the motorcycle has a built-in neural network-based autopilot system. Honda, on the other hand, presented self-moving chairs at the Japan Mobility Show. They resemble the flying seats from the animated movie WALL-E. It's important to note that these robots are not designed for users with limited mobility, but for ordinary people. This year, it's being showcased the humanoid robot PX5. Thanks to its ability to maintain balance, the robot can easily move across rough terrain such as lawns and gravel. Moreover, PX5 is also good at dynamics. It can play soccer and even ride a Segway. The robot also features a human-like gait without squatting, unlike most robots. Due to its independently developed high-performance joints, the robot achieves high stability while walking and can navigate indoors and outdoors, overcoming obstacles for over two hours. Its arms are functional too. It can lift up to three kilograms with each arm and perform tasks quite skillfully. Its design incorporates double levers with an exceptional load to weight ratio, ensuring optimal functionality, multiple degrees of freedom, and the ability to perform delicate gripping motions similar to human hands. Xpeng also unveiled a six-wheeled minivan with a passenger drone in the trunk. This innovative marvel boasts a unique design consisting of two parts, allowing seamless transition between ground and aerial modes. The aerial module provides vertical takeoff for low-altitude flights, while the ground module cleverly encompasses the aerial module, enabling ground transportation. The ground module of the modular flying car accommodates four to five passengers and is equipped with an extended range hybrid power system capable of multiple recharges for the aerial module. The aerial module is a fully electric piloted aircraft. It supports both manual and automatic driving modes, ensuring flight convenience. In addition to personal use, the modular flying car potentially finds applications in public services such as emergency rescue services, effectively meeting both government and private needs. In recent times, the concept of flying cars and trucks has been gaining popularity. Another futuristic model from Xping was presented at Tech Day 2023, the eVTOL flying car, combining the design of a supercar with an intelligent cabin that seamlessly transitions between driving and flying modes. Depending on the mode, the steering wheel and dashboard transform accordingly. And this is not just a render. At the exhibition, a real car embodying this crazy futuristic concept could be seen. We are eagerly anticipating live video tests of the flying car on real roads in all available modes of transportation. As soon as the humanoid robot Digit got its first job in an Amazon warehouse, it already has a strong competitor, proving that a robot for transporting boxes doesn't have to be such a complex humanoid design. We have already told you about EvoBot, but amidst discussions about the use of humanoid robots, the manufacturers of the self-balancing two-wheeled bot have come to life and highlighted the advantages of their product. For instance, it can travel at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour instead of five to six. It can lift and carry loads weighing up to 65 kilograms compared to the previous 20 kilograms limit. Moreover, if someone else loads the robot, EvoBot can handle and deliver up to 100 kilograms. Its rotating grips might be less dexterous than humanoid hands, but they are more than sufficient to grasp and move boxes. Additionally, the robot, with its waist-high height, can reach shelves as tall as an average person's chest. The compact robot weighing 40 kilograms can drive boxes for up to eight hours straight, handling slopes of up to 45 degrees and maneuvering over uneven surfaces. And if it does happen to fall, it can get back up on its own. Which digit learned quite recently? Which robot would you choose for your warehouse as more reliable? 
By the way, the manufacturers of EvoBot have another concept. It's a powerful, autonomous jack equipped with omnidirectional mechanism wheels and pneumatic suspension capable of operating both indoors and outdoors. This machine moves at speeds of up to 36 km per hour using LiDAR, GPS, and 3D cameras for navigation and environmental perception. It can precisely position itself around a pallet by lowering its suspension for grasping, then deploys several massive levers to lift it from both sides using the same openings used by a forklift driver. It moves pallets with impressive maneuverability even in highly confined spaces. A recent unexpected study published by the United Nations Organization has revealed that artificial intelligence will have the most significant impact on women's employment. Scientists have concluded that despite the superhuman abilities attributed to artificial intelligence, generative artificial intelligence will not replace humans, but will only automate some of their tasks. The most promising application of these technologies is in the field of so-called clerical work. In this sector, artificial intelligence can take over from a quarter to a third of all tasks. Since the vast majority of employees in this sector are women, they will be the most affected. It seems that the fame of Boston Dynamics continues to inspire many researchers. German artificial intelligence researchers attempted to teach their humanoid robot to move to music. To achieve this, the researchers developed a new control system. It performs control of optimally calculated actions based on the timing of rhythms and additional features extracted from the music. However, it gives the impression that the engineers did not have enough time or budget to fully refine the project. Deucin Robotics has announced a partnership with Microsoft to create robots based on GPT. The partnership involves Microsoft Azure OpenAI providing Deucin with access to GPT, while Deucin Digital Innovation will adapt the model for the company's robots to create a new control system. The goal is to simplify and speed up robot programming while teaching them to perform a wide range of tasks. This will be achieved by enabling robots to understand the current context and nuances of their work and adjust their actions in real time. For example, Doosan's E-Series cobots are designed for food and beverage preparation. Through GPT integration, a user could give a simple voice command to prepare a dish, and the robot could determine the optimal sequence of actions and fulfill the order. GPT integration also allows robots to access an existing database of code and learn from it, eliminating the need for programmers to code each new task from scratch. In general, it seems that using GPT for executing voice commands and reprogramming themselves will soon become a standard for all smart machines. Write in the comments what you think about these new generation technologies. If you found something new and interesting in this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also, check out our previous videos. See you soon.